I'm Alex Wilcox, I'm the owner of Lord Willie's, a gentleman's haberdashery in New York City, and today I'm going to talk to you about the blazer for the manual. So a little bit about the blazer. Um, originally its origins come from HMS Blazer, the naval frigate. And the story goes that uh, a young Queen Victoria was about to visit the ship and the captain looked around at his crew and saw the unsightly mess and commanded that everybody have brass buttons sewn onto their blue jackets. Uh, Queen Victoria was so impressed uh, with how the crew looked that she then commanded that all naval officers wore blazers with brass buttons on from there on and they still do. Uh, typically it's a navy blazer and what is the first point that will distinguish it between that and a suit jacket uh, is the buttons. Um, a, a good blazer will have either brass or chrome buttons. What this does is it tends to add uh, an air of elegance but also an air of playfulness that allows the wearer to possibly you know, not wear a tie, to wear a pocket square, to wear jeans with it. So the blazer itself sets the establishment that I'm wearing something elegant and considered but at the same time I'm off duty and I think that's the nice thing. It shows the versatility uh, of what you can do with the blazer. Um, in this context, you'll see that it's still a very, very classical, uh, classical elegant form. Uh, the lapels are, are classical, the silhouette is classical, um, but for example, the lining might be a little more playful. Again, the point of a blazer is that I can, I can show my personality. I'm not just wearing a suit for work. Uh, blazers also come in many forms, as in color-wise. Uh, you can wear black, you can wear gray. So really the three main things to look for are a good color, a good weight and some elements of individuality that express your own personality. So another option in the blazer world is the double-breasted. Now the double-breasted is an interesting jacket because it's not for everybody and it certainly shouldn't be your first blazer. It should be perhaps number four, five or six and the reason that is is you'll know as soon as you put the jacket on whether or not you can carry a double-breasted. Uh, a lot of people uh, seem to associate it more with their father's world and uh, you know, the banking fraternity of yesteryear. But actually it's a very elegant and very, very um, cosmopolitan jacket. The things to look for in it are um, a choice of buttons, uh, four button or six button. Uh, the four is a, a little more continental, a little more relaxed, a little uh, more Italian, French sort of feel about it. Whereas the six is definitely in English, uh, a very much more of a Prince Charles type uh, stiff upper lip look about it. Uh, the most important thing to consider when buying a double-breasted blazer is the length of the jacket. It needs to be a little bit shorter than your average blazer and the reason for this is it's going to give it a little bit of a sportier appearance and that will put to bed some of the room, you know, the, the feeling of an older stuffier jacket. So that, that it's like a trade-off, you're getting stuffy but sporty and those when they work together well, for example with a nice pair of crisp chinos or even, you know, even dark denim just adds an air of confidence that's uh, the level, the next level of a blazer. It really is for the very, very confident blazer wearer, but certainly something you should try.